हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल नो स्पियर आई एम शेष आदरी कुलकर्णी एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू नो अबाउट द रिफॉर्म्स ऑफ लॉर्ड रिपन जॉर्ज फ्रेडरिक सैम्यूल रॉबिन्सन फर्स्ट मार्कस ऑफ रिपन द अर्ल ऑफ रिपन एंड ऑल्सो द अर्ल डी ग्रे एंड रिपन लॉर्ड रिपन वॉज अ ब्रिटिश वाइज रॉय गवर्नर जनरल ऑफ इंडिया हु सर्व फ्रॉम एटीन एटी टू एटीन एटी फोर He was born at Ten Downing Street, London, on October twenty-four, eighteen twenty-seven, to F. J. Viscount Robinson and Lady Sarah Hobart. His father was a prime minister, hence administration, statesmanship, diplomacy, political qualities came to him through hierarchy from both paternal and maternal sides. William Ewart Gladstone, when returned to power in England, he appointed Ripon as Viceroy of India. Ripon was known as Good Viceroy of India. Now let us see why he was called as Good Viceroy of India. Reforms and policies of Ripon during his tenure. First and foremost, Ilbert Bill of 1883, which allowed Indian judges or magistrates to judge or try charges against European British subjects. It was drafted by Sir Courtney Ilbert, the member of council of Governor General of India. This act predicted the equality in jurisdiction and the justice but it became controversial as it led to the criticism by native Europeans including English women or Anglo women as they were not in favor of being judged by native judges Bengal Land Tenancy Bill which was the result of revolt of peasants this bill would improve the situation of the peasants it also redefined the rights of zamindars and tenants Though it was originated during the tenure of Ripon but it was enacted in 1885 as Bengal Tenancy Act 1885 Repealing of Vernacular Press Act of 1878 He repealed the controversial Vernacular Press Act in 1882 this led to the removal of native language printing press from hard clutches of the government it gave freedom to the newspapers published in vernacular languages Introducing local self government The resolution which was passed by Ripon by introducing the local self government in 1882 increased the municipal institutions in the country in a line of acts many powers were given to the rural and urban bodies and elected people also received the powers Ripon is also known as father of local government in India it also established taluka boards and district boards Hunter Commission of 1882 which was appointed by lord ripon was also the first education commission in the modern india it was presided by sir william hunter who was also the member of the executive council of the viceroy this commission brought large scale educational reforms the main objective of the hunter commission is to investigate the state of primary education in india but it also decided to look upon further like secondary and higher education During Ripon's tenure the first factory act of 1881 was adopted later following this factory commission was appointed which tried to improve the working condition of the laborers it prohibited the working of children under the age of 7 it also reduced the working hours of laborers Ripon played the crucial role in reorganizing the Madras Forest Department and in expanding the systematic forest conservancy in india so friends this was the information on the reforms of lord ripon hope you loved this do like share and subscribe the channel for more such interesting videos every sunday and also press the bell icon to receive the notification thank you